this ministry and commission started well and it will end well. Amen. And so I am asking the Lord to be with us today as we unveil this book to the public in the name of the Father Amen. and of the Son Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I therefore present this to the entire world in the name of the Father Amen. and of the Son Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Leave this book and say, This book. This book. You will bring life to me. You will bring life to me. You will bring knowledge to my life. You will, bring to my life. You will empower me. As I, read, I will As I read, I will understand. In a bid to address insecurity in the country, Oscar Amechina, president of Afri Mission and Evangelism Network, has advised pastors to promote true biblical doctrines and teachings. This, he said, would help members desist from the love of money while remaining content with what they have and thus discourage covetousness. At a book launch titled, Who is This God?, written by an American lecturer, Paul Bryan. A Medina, who is also the reviewer of the 377-page book, said the book encourages readers to foster a deeper spiritual connection. According to him, Christians see God in many dimensions, and also many have failed to preach morality, but rather focus on frivolous lifestyles. When you look at the challenges in Nigeria, Insecurity has bedeviled Nigeria in a very alarming proportion. Those who are kidnappers, they have religious group where they belong. Some of them are in the churches, they give money to their pastors, they pay tithes, they give offering. Some of them can even build churches, yet they still go and kidnap and collect money from people. Because some of them just believe that the essence of why we're existing in life is because God wants us to prosper. And you see the dangers of prosperity gospel is that it doesn't bring morality to what people are doing. So I strongly believe that insecurity and the way we live our lives recklessly is as a result of not knowing God. Because when we understand God, you will worship Him better. You will know His rules, His laws, His ordinances, His precepts. And if you understand this, you will be very careful how you live your life. This book is meant for everybody, both Christians and non-Christians, ministers of the gospel, because for lack of knowledge, my people are destroyed. And the Bible says, those who know their God, they shall be strong and they shall do exploit. Also, pastor of the Antioch Christian Center spoke about the book and its book club. The book tends to bring believers closer to God, especially those whose heart craves and yearn for the knowledge of Christ. It is a life-transforming book, and it is a must-read book for every household, for every believer, especially those who want to nurture their children in the way of the Lord. The Abuja Chapter Coordinator of AFRI Mission and Evangelism Network called for the revival of reading culture that would spur Nigerians into knowing the truth about God. We Africans find it difficult to read, and because of that, knowledge is far from us. Who is this God? Is a book that um, will be an eye-opener for Christians and non-Christians to know who the God they serve is, not the God they hear about. So it will give them an opportunity to know who they serve in truth and in spirit.